Pascal, you said uh, all season long your team was close-knit. They were disciplined and uh, played for each other. Did they do that tonight? Well, 100%. And we needed that. And that, that's uh, one, part of the, one part of the game that you can't quantify being uh, or having a good team chemistry. Our, our, our group is really tight and, and those guys play for each other and the way they came out tonight, even the last game, um, to be that composed and disciplined and taking a beating shift after shift and going back out there and, and doing it again and, and, and the way they, they manage the whole series, second game, we lose 5-0. And uh, we didn't like it in front of our fans, in front of our people, for them to respond the way they did. Lots of character. It's really good for the organization. I'm really proud of our guys. Um, the players, the coaching staff, uh, and the training staff, everybody was part of it. We're, we're one big family, and it's, uh, it certainly feels good to get rewarded. Um, really happy for them to get rewarded after that kind of series. People will see a 5-1 final score and think that this was a, an easy game, a comfortable game for your team, really anything but. No, it wasn't easy. It was a tough game. Um, we took advantage of our chances, but it was tight. I mean, we scored a, three goals in the third period, but um, it, it was a tif difficult game. Um, and the fact that we didn't play for three days, I think, was... Uh, in, in some ways good for us um, being on the road because our team, like I said, our team chemistry is so good. Um, we, uh, we were able to regroup after the last game. So when you play the right way and you don't get rewarded, there's a risk. There's a risk that you might lose a little bit of confidence, but they didn't. And that's, uh, that's good to see. Patrice Cormier, your captain and team leader, had not registered a point in the series. Uh, not long after the opening face-off tonight, he changed that. Did that help to set a tone for your team? Well, it did. Um, but but you look at our the way we manage the puck, the way Patrice, he's our captain. But the way we manage the puck, the way we handled the adversity, they scored on their power play to tie the game 1-1, but we just came back. The shift right, right after was really good. So managing the, the score, managing... Um, the clock and it starts with the with the captain and uh, for him to score a goal it's it's a big bonus for sure he, we know he can score some goals he did it in the season but the the timing of it was perfect obviously a team performance to win a game like that but uh, some players stood out in the game Brendan Lemieux I thought uh, found a way to contribute offensively and showed he could manage his outlook in a game like that as well well in Brendan's case we know he can skate we know he's a good player uh, we also know that he's uh, he's a guy that that's really involved emotionally in the game, and it's a good thing. We like it, um, and he showed us. So what I'm seeing right now is a, is a young man that came from the juniors and came to our team after, and um, and I'm seeing now a guy that is in control of himself on the ice, and I mean he's a target. And what I'm trying to say here is for him to stay composed the way he did and keep going back and uh, because the way he plays, he's going to bring attention to himself. And, and the maturity in his game tonight in the last game, um, that's a very good sign for Brendan in the future. The offseason was important for the Manitoba Moose and you brought in some veteran players, players like Mike Scarbosa, Cameron Schilling, Buddy Robinson. They obviously uh, showed how they can be helpful in these types of games tonight. Well, just their experience and, and uh, how they manage those, uh, those moments um, just before the game and the way we prepare at, at practice yesterday, just the way they show up, the way they handle themselves. Having veterans on our team is, is a huge help, but having the right people matters the most. And, and those guys are, are, uh, are doing a great job at supporting Patrice and the veteran group. Eric Comrie had not played playoff hockey since his time with the Tri-City Americans. Now he's a guy who can say he's helped the team to win a series. Well, he was outstanding tonight. I think uh, you could see that, that's a guy that, you know, works hard every single day. Practice day, game day, morning skates. Every time he goes on the ice, he's 100%. Um, so when you do that, when you consistently do the right things and you work hard, he's a good person. 
at some point the pieces of the puzzle will come together and uh, tonight for him to be in the net and to play the way he did it's a huge confidence boost in himself and and for the players on the bench looking at this you you just say you're just happy for him he's he's a hard working man and he's got great talent uh, but to bring that when the game is on the line like tonight when the series is on the line like tonight um, that's a, that's very good and lastly, uh, after dispatching of an excellent opponent like Grand Rapids, the defending league champ, so I know you have great respect for, now you've got to play against an excellent Rockford team. Well, they're really good, and they got some uh, some help from the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, that's a team that plays fast. Uh, they had a real good second half of the season. They're they're moving the puck quick. They're, that's going to be a different series. It's going to be physical for sure, not like what we've just seen, but it's going to be a fast-paced hockey game. We'll have to be sharp. We'll have to make sure we play the right way um, in order to uh, give ourselves a chance to succeed. But that's going to be a, a different kind of series, but it's, it's, it's not going to be easier for sure. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you.